How should I respond to a worrying email from an ex-student? I run a lab at an R1 university in the USA. Almost 10 years ago I removed an undergraduate volunteer student from my laboratory group for harassing another student. Today I received a multi-page, rambling, angry email from the student volunteer I removed. The email is disturbing, including references to drugs, illness, abuse, and depression. It ends in a way that could be construed as a threat, but is not a direct threat. It also does not contain any indication of intent to self-harm. Were this person a student, there exists university services to help and check their situation, but they are no longer a student. They do live in the same city I do. Am I correct that my university is in no way involved at this point? Do I have any duty to attempt to help? If so, is there a way to do so that does not engage the individual directly, which I hesitate to do? Beyond a police restraining order, is there any action I might take to insulate myself and my so from any negative actions this individual might take? Campus police is in charge of keeping everyone on campus safe, both from other members of the university as well as people outside the university. They're your first point of contact, and if the email can be construed as a threat, then they should take it seriously. If they think that they require help from outside, they will refer the matter to the city police. City police will, for example, be in charge of restraining orders that relate to your home, your so, and everything else you do outside campus. As for helping, as humans, we want to and should. At the same time, I don't think that you have a moral obligation, and certainly no legal one. The person is no longer under your supervision or care, nor do you really have any way to connect to the person, they're clearly not interested in listening to you.